This is Fred Beck from Fred Looks Fighting. I'm joined over Zoom by Foxy G. I believe you haven't actually done one of these in a while, Vox. I think it's been a good few months. The last yeah. time you was at the KSI fight back in January. Even though January wasn't a long time ago, for me it still feels years ago. How much has happened yeah. then? What have you been up to? Dude, I'm the same way, man. There's there's so much going on in in, in the scene. Yeah, <laughs> January feels like so long ago. It's insane. Um, I don't know, man. Um, I can't really say too much yet. I've been working behind the scenes a little bit. Um, I got a few announcements coming in April. Um, yeah, man. I- I'm just excited to start rolling them out. Some of them are kind of the biggest thing I've ever done. So, um, yeah, man, I'm excited. Mm, I remember I saw a little bit of your, not a little bit of yours, I saw a bit of your one and, um, this other interview of Leo Ains today, the hosting his like show, which I think is quite a good idea. I'll be interested to see how far like, that kind of goes in terms of like, the quality. Because I know it's kind of doing what Ariel Hawani does in terms of like, the MMA hour. Yeah. So I think yeah. afterwards will be really, really cool. Um, so hopefully like, Leo can carry on doing that and like upgrade, upgrade. So it look quite good. Wait, you you know Leo? I don't know. I don't know him personally, but I've spoken to him a couple of times. Oh, dude. I, oh, dude. He's so talented, man. He's so talented. Yeah, well, you know, Leo, he said, um, do I want to come on? But I don't, I don't I'm not mad on doing interviews. I know, I, <laughs> You're the interviewer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do I do occasionally do one, one or two. I've been about, mm. about two in my whole time doing YouTube, two and three years, or just less than three years. So I do try and like stay away from that. So I know I'll say the wrong thing and get myself in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Um, especially doing interviews as well. You can't really give your opinion too much. That's because you mm. burn too many bridges. Where if you're doing what you do, where you're some more opinions channel, you can kind of get aware of it and we just use Yeah. That's why you're on here. Right. <laughs> um, in terms of fighting, what's going on for you? I saw you won your amateur fight the other day as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely want to get a few more amateur fights in because, you know, obviously, you know, Fred, like your first fight, you're just, you're feeling it out a little bit. Like you can't really, you know what I mean? Like you're nervous, you're, you know, I, I'd never fought before this kid had fought like four times and apparently he won every time. So I was like going into that kind of like, did you know that before you went in? Yeah. Because I, I remember my coach, like he, um, like can reach out to other gyms and stuff. Oh, I just went right on my screen. My bad. Yeah. He can reach out to other gyms and stuff. He can, you know, tell them, um, Oh, like, um, we need an opponent. Cause obviously all my opponents had pulled out beforehand. Um, And yeah, man, I just um he he said, Can you fight um this guy? He's he's four and oh, ten pounds heavier. What what do you think? I was like, Yeah. I said, sure. Like it, it's the only guy I can fight. So I fought a dude that's heavier than me, um, more experienced than me. It came out on top, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you ever try and get a stoppage? Do you ever feel like coming in that fight? Um Dude, I, I I think that in that fight, I really, looking back, I'm kind of disappointed with how I did. I really should have stopped him because, um, he, you know, obviously, I think a big part of it was the weight. I'm not trying to make an excuse, but I, I definitely think if I fought him again and we were the same weight, I would have stopped him 100% because he didn't like my pressure and he didn't like how I was hitting him. I was hitting him pretty hard. Um I, I, yeah, I, I 100% would stop him. And we're working on a rematch, too. Oh, really? Wow, okay. That's quite good. Yeah. Well, Fred, bro, I don't... Because I, you've you had amateur experience, too. And I know it might be, like, different in the UK. Is it normal for, like, after a fight, for the gym to, like, repeatedly, like, talk shit to our gym? No, that's not very good, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. It's very respectful. It should not be happening, though. Yeah, dude... Literally the entire time, right? Like, I I saw the um I saw the guy that they had me fighting, and I went up. I introduced myself. I said, "Hey, I think they got us fighting. We fought. I was respectful the whole time. After the fight, I gave him a hug. I said, "Bro, like you fought well. That was a good fight." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, man." And then we go back to like obviously we go our separate ways. I go back to my gym. We go back to training. I start seeing Instagram posts um, of them just like talking shit about me, like saying, oh, really? "Yeah," I was like, "Bro, what?" Like. I was nothing but respectful to these guys. So wh- what you said about the stoppage, we're um working about 10 times harder now and we want a rematch and I want to just, I want to, bro, I want to drop them. I just, I really. Maybe it's because you do YouTube. 
or something like I that. I think that's what it is because they look. I think that, like, obviously, I, I think they looked up like Fox Townley just to see if I like what what was up, and I think that they saw like that I had posted my full fight. <laughs> so just that might be the reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like. I even in the video I was respectful, man. I was just like, we had a good fight. It was a close fight. The other dude fought well. That was it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if I posted, yeah, that's really good. That's quite interesting. Why do you post some videos like Dead and Alive? Or your sort of thing? Having like a camera probably around the whole day or training, stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool. Quite interesting. I think that'd be cool too. Um I'm definitely going to work on something like that because I want to, that's a, something I've thought about, but also right now I only have an iPhone. So I, I think that I'm going to wait until maybe like I'm in like Soul's gym and then, you know, like up in the UK and training with those guys and then I can have better production, but I don't want to just have like a fuzzy camera. And also right now before like Misfits, like before my first fight on Misfits, I don't really want to show too much. Like even in that fight, I didn't really get to show everything. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to, I don't want to show evil hero every single shot that I could hit his head with. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I see. You don't want to reveal too much. Like you notice, what was he gonna say? Like you notice for influence boxing, no one really puts that padwork footage. Where yeah, boxing to do it the whole time. Yeah, it's very different because I mean, like pro boxing, people get matched up because like they're around the same level, and then yeah. influencer boxing. I mean, you can get, you know, like you can get your Saul Poppy versus Andy Worskis where neither of them put out footage. And then do we saw. <laughs> I'll I, I, I definitely. It. Um, just need some better camera quality, man. And then that'd be a banger. But even your, what iPhone do you have? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a pretty, it's the one, you know, the one with the three cameras. Oh, so you can, you might as well film on your iPhone. Like it's not that bad with a camera. I know, I know. I just want to go crazy with it, man. I want to like, yeah. I, I'm talking like, bro. I, I want almost like a documentary type of thing. I, I've thought about it a lot. It'd be, it'd be so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You guys lost it. That's like the Kanye documentary where they're always filming. Like every person now always is a cameraman with them. No matter if they're yeah. a YouTuber, pop star, singer, artist, footballer, everyone always is a cameraman with them. So they're gonna record the whole journey. So in like ten years time, they put out, when they finally put out that documentary. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let's talk about it. KSI Joe Fournier. Your thoughts? That's a good fight. I think, me personally, I could have thought of like maybe other options that are potentially. I'm not hating. I'm just saying like other options that I was thinking beforehand was like I or I still would want to see it after. I feel like KSI and Mike Perry would be such a good fight, bro. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I, I'm not wrong. Well, doing in my opinion, but um. Yeah, that's true. That's a very, very good fight, actually. And Mike Perry can fall trash as well. So exactly. Just, but Mike Perry's a new guy you haven't already seen too much before. Yeah, and the storyline, bro. He beat um MVP. And like MVP is obviously very involved in JJ um in his in his gym and his camp. So like if JJ could get revenge, Oh wait, Mike Perry. Oh, so that's a really good point, Ashley. I have thought that. Yeah. Oh, I I've talked to Mans. I'll mention that to Mans. <laughs> I'm just saying, but hey, but before before anyone goes like crazy in the comments, because you know, I, I think that the the Joe Fournier fight is a perfect fight for this stage in JJ's career with the Jake fight, because he can get you know a, a a pro boxer under his belt. I know obviously Pineda, but let's be real, like Joe Fournier can actually bring a few things to the table. Like you know, I think that he um, he's got some real boxing experience. He hasn't been knocked out yet. Um, there's a lot of unknowns about him the same way there are unknowns about JJ. And I think that that combination put together, it's a good test. Mm. Do you think after it's all said and done, after you finally fight the straight ball, and then it happens, do you think KSR will stop boxing? Or do you think he always keep his kind of foot in the door? Because it's an addicting sport. It's very rare when you see box like YouTube boxers or yeah. just come into boxing and only have one fight. Apart from Joe Weller, who's an exception, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I definitely think he's he said it a few times. He's been like, if it makes sense, I'll come back, which I think is kind of him hinting at it. Um, I, it's like if he gets offered a Conor McGregor fight, he's not going to say no, is he? You know, or like, 
if there's uh, like like we've said it a few times um there's probably going to be a Jake rematch or you know a plenty of other fights that would be big and make some noise um so if something interests him he'll 100% come back i'm sure he'll stay in shape so i don't see why not he's only 30 you know or he's going to be 30 by then he's, that's pretty young so yeah i i i don't see him just fully quitting Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's quite interesting. Um. In terms of WWE kind of misfits mixing and matching, like the tag team, what other WWE stipulations could misfits use? Like Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, anything? What do you think, Fox? Dude, there are a lot that they could go for, but I also think the one difference is with WWE, uh, it's it's staged, so like you know they can kind of get more like crazy where they can hit each other with um chairs they can yeah. do all kinds of crazy shit but with misfits like even with the pba you still have to sanction a madness like you know you still have to it's it's a boxing match like they someone can get knocked out at any moment so you have to really be careful um i think that tag team was a huge step um in like you know the right direction for making it more interesting i think a royal rumble would be sick it would just it would be so cool um get all how that. Would it, work, it would be sick but how would it work i don't know man i honestly but don't you know. know i've got an idea how well actually no, i've got an idea how it works after you can have two minute rounds well actually no a rule rumble is very three minutes sometimes in the ring you can have one three minute round and the referee raises someone's hand whoever loses but then again it'd be only two people at a time wouldn't it it's it's complicated. I have like four people in there at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But hey, t- you could get Mams Taylor on an interview, bro. D- bro, present him your ideas, bro. Because I know that Mams is he's getting creative with it. He's getting so creative. I, I well, like- Mams is always I'm, the the respect I have for Mams is very very high because obviously he helped me out about a lot of things and he's always one step ahead of, of everyone else. What, yeah. What of Mams is already thought of. He's already yeah. he's already tried that out. He's already planned it. Mm-hmm. So when the public starts going, oh no, that can happen. Well, they've already sorted it, or they've already thought of a way to solve that problem. Exactly, exactly. I can't believe how well they're oh. doing. Like with the tag team, I I I was um I was here for it, but I wasn't expecting it to go that well. You know, like everyone loved it. Everyone. Yes, the only thing I have with the tag team is it wasn't very competitive. So I want to see a tag team match which, which is competitive. Then I'd like to see how that would go, I reckon. You and me versus Evil Hero and NNA. Bro. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, actually. Damn. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. We could run that. We could run that. Blimey, okay. Dude, I, I would love that so much. There's another, actually, another, another. Oh, I think, I, okay, no. There's another guy. Pulley or Reef. Um, Pulley oh, Arif. Oh, yeah, my bad. All right. All right. Pulley. <laughs> Really after yeah. um after he fought Dean, he messaged me and he was like, "Bro, we should do a tag team." I All like, right. I said, "Yeah." I messaged Mams about it. Mams is like, "Sure, like we we might be able, we might see me and Pulley on a tag team. I would love that. Like, I I would love to do a tag team with you or Pulley. I think that that would be sick. Just like being involved because it looks so fun. It looked more fun than a regular boxing match because you've got a teammate. And I I don't know." It's just, it's like a whole new approach and it made me want to, like I saw B-Dave get tagged in and go running across the ring. I was like, bro, I want to do that. It looks sick. Yeah, that's true actually. Like the amount of memes that came from that. I mean, B-Dave's now, I've been, I've got an interview him out coming out tomorrow. He and his mum joined the interview as well. And she's very, very similar to him. So really? Painting. Yeah, that's a really good point actually. Do they have tag team belts, do you reckon? At this point? Like after that, literally everyone is just talking about like their tag team matchups. So I don't see why not. Like, I I, I think that'd be fire. I think that'd be mm-hmm. dope. Yeah, like a tag team championship. Yeah, go ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's quite cool. Actually, that's a really good. That's a really good point. But Fox, um, I do appreciate you coming on. I'll keep it shorter today because I want to try and like I want to try and like find out what the right length of interview time is. Things like a twenty minute deep discussion. An eight minute one, a ten minute one. So I'm trying to experiment and how long to give it. But um, when do I see you next? Will you be at the New Orleans show? Um, it maybe. See, I got. I'm not I won't. I won't be there. Oh, 
then I can say it. No, no. I, and I will, where you're going, I'm going to be. I'll oh, see sick. you. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. nice. What, yeah. so in April? In April? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sick. I'll see you in oh, April. That's lit. Okay. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see you again, man. And that's going to be sick. We're going to be running Kingpin, too. We run Misfits. <laughs> <laughs> then we go over a Kingpin. Yeah, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Who do you think wins Gib or all my broom? Gib, Gib, but it's close. closer. It's gonna be closer this time, though. So, so if if what McBroom was saying about him being sick, if all of that was true, bro, it's gonna be it's gonna be a war. But Gib yeah. will come out on top, definitely. He's he's so definitely it's gonna be a war. I think it'll be a war. I think it'll be very, very exciting. Uh, Gib's a massive pull in terms of views, uh, public engagement, public interest as well. I think Dude, he's gonna carry. Yeah, Gib is quite an underrated star in the crossover scene. Probably because people kind of might have forgotten about him because it's been so long since he's, he's fought. The last time he fought was September, so it's ages. He's been training since then, so it should be quite exciting. Yeah. Oh, I think that you're going to see, like, bro, every single time we've seen Gib fight, because it goes so long, he's like a whole different fighter. Like, yeah, that's from true. Yeah. Jake to Holder and then Holder to McBroom. Levels. It was amazing. Mm. What so other, sick. You think, Card, you're excited about? Say it one more time. What other fights on the Kingpin card are you excited about? Um, you got Tom Zanetti versus Jarvis. That's definitely a banger. I versus I've, uh, my mate Nate, and then Winnison Nunes versus they haven't got an opponent yet. I'm excited to see what Winnison has, and I'm also excited to see how Jarvis can pull through against Zanetti because I mm -hmm. think Zanetti is he's tough. And then also from the women's side as well, um, who's L Brook fighting? Is she fighting? I forgot her name of her opponent actually. It's is she who's as well. who's the um Barbies right? That's how you pronounce it. Barbie's fighting this other girl. Barbie's good though. She's a very very good fighter. That's what I'm saying. We're I all think very tall. they are very tall, dude. They I are think... on high heels. You bet. They are on high heels. That's <laughs> that's a very good point. But I really hope that we see in that tournament Barbies versus L Brook because I think that L Brook. Well, it's, I think they can only meet in the final. If they, if they win all their fights, they can only meet in the final. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that would be the, bro, the best outcome for me because I, I've seen Barbies on the pads and she's, bro, she's definitely she's a lot good, bigger yeah. than L. Brooke and mm. she hits hard. So, like, with L. Brooke, I think that I, I don't see anyone else on that tournament that can really cause her any problems. Like, who she's going to fight now, I'm telling you now, she's going to smoke her. Like, Elbrook is going to smoke whoever she fights. And I think that Barbies is the one girl on that tournament that could actually, like, really give her some problems. So I really hope that that's, that's the fight. Because it, it'd be like, I don't know, man. It would just be, it would be perfect. It'd be fire. Yeah, well, I guess that's, that'll be a really, yeah, that'd be a really close fight. But yeah, I think mean, that'd be a really good fight, Elle, Elle and Barbie. Um, I guess Barbie is one of the favorites to win, and so is Elle, so... That we could be quite an exciting final with Fox. Apart from your YouTube channel and TikTok. You know, you're actually not on TikTok, are you? Nah, nah. What do you to get on? I should, bro, I might get on it. You're right, you're right. Mm. I, 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 I'll start a TikTok, bro. I'll do it. And what about your hats? Are you going to get any more merchandise coming soon? Dude, I, I, I probably will. I'm working on some stuff, but it's very, like... Uh, I'm just testing it out right now, just a little bit, just like putting putting together a little bit of like designs, not nothing crazy, but well, that actually that's a good point. I never actually got a hat last time. I took that's be some of these hats. I never got a hat last time. I got you, bro. I got. I'll see, bro. I'll see you in April. I got. I got a few left. Okay, sick, sick, sick. <laughs> that's nice. I might even get you with the new design. I'm, oh, very I'm nice, sure. red. Of course they're red. Oh really? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exact, bro. I have to be. It has to be red. It has to be red. We're both kind of like my logo, and then your everything is just red. So <laughs> this color is the logo. Color red. But Fox, I do appreciate you coming on. I'll make sure to see you next month in April. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. I'm hyped. I'll see you then, bro.